Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Crypto Factor. Welcome back to your favorite cryptopreneurship show. Welcome back to the place for cryptopreneurs and aspiring cryptopreneurs alike. My name is Paul. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency and crypto AMAs like this one. I answer all your questions. We also do crypto shorts that get straight to the point. We do mindset videos for becoming a crypto millionaire. We do reviews. We do all the sorts, interviews with some of the most successful people and pioneers in cryptocurrency. So if that's something you like, maybe you want to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button. And today we're going to be talking about the Bitcoin price. We're going to be talking about altcoins, XRP, and it's just an important message for the XRP army and XRP uh, people out there. And then we're going to have our normal crypto AMA. I'm also going to give you a health update to talk about my health. It's been a while I've been here. Um, I'll tell you what's going on. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Let me just raise up the air conditioner here a little bit because what's going on is I sweat very easily lately with what's going on. Now, so how are you? How is everybody? Where are you from? Where are you watching us from and what you're drinking? Because today I am drinking this blue drink. And if my tongue goes blue or purple later on, you will know why. It's um, because I'm, I'm drinking this stuff. So what is this stuff? This is basically Powerade. It's electrolytes and I'm drinking it because I need them. So <laughs> So what are you drinking? Where are you watching us from? Uh, let me see in the comment section. Let me see in the chat. And then, you know, we'll, um, we'll, we'll get started. Mm. I see Johnny Midas from Palm Desert, California. Paul, hope you're well. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you, Johnny. I see Shah, my man. Paul, what the time? <laughs> I'm going out now. Oh, man, you were trying to catch this live stream for so long, Shah. Yeah, uh, it's 7 o'clock on um, Sundays. Usually I do my live stream. I know I haven't been doing it lately. It was a healthy issue. Um, but yeah, I tried to, you know, I, want, I wanted to go live today. I have some important things to share with you um, about Bitcoin, about what's going on. And uh, I wanted to be online, so I got online. I see Johnny Midas, only water bottles, brother. That's good, man. That's good. Water is great. But if you drink too much, it does lower your electrolytes. So if you have a condition like I have, you have to watch those electrolytes. Dark Fire, watching you from Italy. Italy, my man. That is a beautiful country. I went to Rome, Piazza di Spagna. Beautiful place. Michael Liberti from Long Island, New York. What's up, Michael, my man? Fellow cancer survivor here. Yes, I remember you, my man. And yes... I'm going to keep pumping. So for you, for those of you that don't know, I am currently fighting cancer. I am currently on chemotherapy. I know a lot of people are going to leave the channel right now just by me saying this. Life story. See, current views going down. But that's okay. It's okay. I'm still fighting. I'm going to survive this. But the knowledge I bring is going to be good knowledge. So it's up to you if you want to leave. But I'm not going to hide my condition. I'm not going to be embarrassed about it. Uh, so I'm doing chemotherapy and I'm going to get my, my I'm, I'm waiting to go in for CAR T therapy. So that's what we're waiting for. I had some complications, but I'm doing okay generally, minus a few emergencies, which is why I wasn't uh, around. Anyway, let's get straight to the point. Let's get to the Bitcoin price. Because a lot, of, a lot of you are wondering why I'm not talking about the, about the Bitcoin price. And there's a few reasons for this. The first reason is, well, first of all, Nothing has changed. So you have all these influencers every day or, or, or technical analysts every day talking about the Bitcoin price because it gets views. My most views videos, by the way, is cryptocurrency price, predictions and um, Bitcoin price. But I told you months ago, we're in a range. And until that range breaks, there's nothing to really say. Now, you're watching influencers on YouTube is telling you one day they're telling you, oh, it's going to go up, if it's going to break, it's going to go up. Oh, now it's constantly, now it's coiling up and it's going to go down. If it breaks down, it's going to keep on going down. It, it, it's, it's the same stuff. Um, they just do it every day and they confuse you. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I, 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 can't, I can't use you for views and, and use fear and FOMO to grab you. I can, but to a certain extent, it, it, after that, it just becomes, and I'm not saying this is bad for the other, but, but, but I feel fraudish. So when I tell you we're in a range, look at this. We've been in this range for a while here. 
And that range is about 18,300. Okay, that's, that's a little bit lower. The, the smaller range is 18,800. And the higher up here is 19,800. Now, if we want to be a little bit more precise, 20,377 was where I, when I told you last time is our resistance area. And then right now, it's, um, I, would, I, I would put it at about 18,800. Until we break out either way from here, there's nothing to look at. You're not day traders. You don't go for small moves, most of you anyway. If you do, you wouldn't be watching technical analyst videos. You'd be busy working all day, being on the screen all day. And you're sitting there worrying about the price all day for no, for no reason. You just, you, 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 just, uh, you just a mixed um, uh, bag of emotions. Until we break those levels to the upside or to the downside and confirm, meaning you stay under or you stay over for a week, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It does not interest you, right? It only confuses you. It only makes you want to sell or buy from FOMO or fear. So you have to understand that we're in that range, in, in, in this range. Whether it breaks up or down, that's when we're going to reassess. And once we have confirmation, meaning we go up, hit the support, make this support, for example, or make this resistance, why make a Bitcoin price video just for the views and just to confuse you? And it's not, it's not, it's not that I don't want to get the views or anything. I'll do it. But I have to do it in a certain way so you don't lose, so, so you don't act on it and get wrecked. Because a lot of you are getting wrecked for this. You're micro trading. You don't even know how. You're tr trading more than day traders and you're losing fees. You're, lo you're losing money and it's just not fair. So this is the Bitcoin price. That's the range you have to look at. Okay. It's, it's just very simple and very, and, and very, very precise. Now, if you want a deeper dive into Bitcoin and, and the Bitcoin price, on the 18th of the month, which is in a couple of days, I have Gareth Soloway back on the channel. We have him here every two weeks or so um, for the Bitcoin deep dive. We have our own show and we'll deep dive there. So if you want to see that video with Gareth Soloway, subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button. Um, most of you know I have a bet with uh, a Gareth Soloway. We have a friendly bet. I've challenged him and, and we just have some fun, but he has some really good insight um, and, and is, a lot, is, is a lot more um, uh, of a trader than I am, if you will. Uh, I see Michael Aliperti. I'll look at the other comments before in a second, but um, it, it's a frustrating market. Well, if you remember a while ago, I also told you that even if we're bullish, even if the bottom is in, which I believe it might be, it's going to take a long time for it to go up. It's going to slowly go up. And yes, it might have some pumps and dumps along the way, but it's going to take a year or, or even more. That's why I, I said we'll realize that the bottom is in, in 2023 in hindsight and realize I'll be going up from there. Does that make sense? I, I mean, I've said all this in videos and, and I guess I got to do more videos and remind people of this. Maybe I'll do it in live streams. But, um, but, 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 but you have to understand these concepts. It's extremely important. Now, I'm going to go in and see your, um, uh, your, chats, uh, your chat messages and questions on any cryptos you may have or any crypto-related questions in a second. But I also want to talk about altcoins. And then I have a message for the XRP army out there. Let me drink some Powerade. If you, have, if you missed the intro, this is electrolytes. It's blue. It's blue. It looks good on camera, though. Mm. Give a like to this video. Like this video if you appreciate honesty and if you appreciate what I'm saying right now. I, I think, I, I think it's important, right? It's funny. No one hit the like button. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um. So, altcoins. A lot of people are wondering and are asking me in the comments section. Uh, what I think about this altcoin, what I think about that altcoin. And I have made videos about which altcoins you should be looking at. As a matter of fact, let me just show you real quick. All right, if you go to my YouTube channel here, and, and, I, and I really do suggest you do this. Go to my YouTube channel here. If you go to videos and you just scroll down, you'll see a bunch of videos right here. You'll see stop buying altcoins right now, stop buying altcoins, Bitcoin, blah, 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 right? How to actually become a Bitcoin millionaire, a crypto millionaire. But if you go down here, 
uh, there are some videos that do talk about certain altcoins you should be looking at. Now, uh, in the same videos, oh, I'm not even showing my screen, am I? So here is the screen right here. Um, so yeah, you can scroll down and look at these videos about altcoins, which altcoins, and so on. Uh, I think if you go down here a little bit more, you'll see buy crypto, what time and when, shit coins, blah, blah, blah. Well, not that one, but there's, there's, a, there's quite a few, uh, five cheap cryptocurrencies right here. And basically there are some altcoins that are standing out, but in the same video, I also tell you when to start buying the altcoins. And now is not the time. That's what I wanted to get at. It's not the time because you need to wait for Bitcoin to break upwards, confirm trend, um, uh, tr tr trend direction to the upside. And then you can start buying altcoins later. Why? Because as long as that doesn't happen and we're in a bear market, if Bitcoin decides to, I don't know, trips over uh, the sidewalk and, and, and you know, kind of stumbles across the pavement, altcoins are going to fall down, roll over five meters, fall into a sewer, go all the way down the sewer, get cracked on the head by the sewer, and then beaten up by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You have to understand that altcoins are very affected by this right now. Uh, whilst if Bitcoin changes direction and everything, in the beginning, I think Bitcoin's going to take out liquidity from altcoins, but later, these altcoins are going to start going up again. Now, if you combine this with what I said earlier on, that it's going to take time for this market to recover before the big pump, you have all that time to accumulate Bitcoin and altcoins. So why would you want to risk buying altcoins when you can buy Bitcoin, be exposed in cryptocurrency, and then if, uh, you know, be exposed if it goes up, you have time to buy altcoins later on. But if you go down, you can still use the same Bitcoin you bought to buy altcoins cheaper because guess what? Bitcoin holds its value towards altcoins. You can actually use Bitcoin to buy the dip. You can also do this on the way up. So you want to be playing it safe right now. If you, if you really want to make it in cryptocurrency, it's not time to gamble. It's not time yet. I'm not saying it's not that there's no time in general. When there is a bull market and we're in a super hype mode, you can throw a dart on the uh, dartboard and anything you hit, you'll make money. Except safe mode. But do you know what I mean? Like, like you have time. So that's when you're not seeing um, uh, me doing videos about altcoins. Now, are there altcoins that are standing out? Yes, of course, there's Quant, uh, there's Cosmos, there's um, quite a few um, that I've mentioned in videos and even said they're going to do very well. Uh, for example, Chain Guardians, um, PYR, um, and, and some other ones I've noticed, right? But you have to understand that you have time. You have, even if it goes up, even this full bull tomorrow, it's not going to go up in a straight line. It'll always come to come back down. Even in bull markets, there's 40% dips. You have time. So protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. And if you really want to get down to it, yes, you should be buying or you could be buying Bitcoin on dips just because if you believe that Bitcoin is sound money, for example, right? Um, you can, and has the same benefits as digital gold, if you will. Yes, you can be buying Bitcoin, but you should be buying some gold and some silver too, in my opinion, physical. Um, at least that's my view on it. And, and, and that's not to make money. That's to protect your money on inflation, especially now with a dollar. If you're in America, the dollar's so high. Gold is so cheap for you right now. It's insane. Uh, I mean, I, I went and bought gold the other day. I'm like, holy shit, it's still expensive because I'm in Europe and the euro is going bad against the gold. But the dollar, this is the milkshake effect. This is the only reason that you're not seeing the, um, the, the great increase in gold. So you want to be buying gold. You want to be buying some silver. Of course, silver, not for the same reasons as you buy gold because there will never be a silver standard. It just doesn't work. If you understand economics, I can, I, I can explain why. Um, but you want to be buying silver mostly for just speculation, if you will. But gold uh, and Bitcoin, yes, you, you, you can be buying it, but you have to be smart about it. D -d Does that make sense? By the way, if you want to buy uh, gold, I would buy gold coins. I don't know if the laws in America apply, but if you buy, for example, a British crown gold coin, 
Um, it's the closest value you have to weight in gold. You don't play, you don't pay much of a premium. And then if you ever want to travel with it or sell it, you can always say it was inherited or your mother gave it to you or something and you don't have to pay tax. It depends on your tax laws, of course. This is not financial advice. Um, but they're not going to be trying to track it with gold bars and put the number in when you bought it or anything. So you could probably get away with saying it, that you had it for a longer time, maybe get away with less capital gains and so on, depending on which country you live in or state or whatever. Mm. Right? Now... By the way, hit that like button if you if you got any value from this, or if you agree. And um, let me ask you some, and, and let's talk a little bit about XRP. Listen, whether you like XRP or not right now, and you know I used to make fun of the XRP army a lot. It was mostly a gimmick, and it was because they were just like this. They were Safe Moon army before Safe Moon. Um, and it was all based on them not understanding how to trade XRP because I was holding XRP since 2017, right? And I sold, and the XRP got my, uh, army got mad, but I st sold before the SEC uh, issue because I saw something in the charts and I said, I'll only buy if it goes above a certain point. And they tried to ridicule me, then of course the news came out, but I kind of saw this in the charts because the, the, show me the charts, I'll tell you the news. I didn't know it was going to be so severe. And then when I said that the SEC case is going to take a long time to recover and everything, they didn't understand. They kept on trying to buy it all the time and they got wrecked while we got into DeFi, made a whole bunch of money, uh, got back into XRP when it broke resistance, made some money there, then changed it into ADA when that broke resistance and we made money. Anyway, so I, the XRP army has a bit of a grudge on me for the wrong reasons, though. But... Let me make this very clear. XRP needs to win this, SE, uh, S, this SEC uh, uh, court case. I want them to win, and I'm rooting for them, because this will affect the cryptocurrency markets, at least in the short and midterm. Uh, it's, it's basically going to make a difference, but it's also going to make a difference long term about what the SEC will be able to or will be willing to do in the future to other cryptocurrencies. Does that make sense? So we want the XRP army, well, sorry, XRP or Ripple to win this case. Um, now, of course, a lot of people forgot some of the initial reasons why they went to court. It, it was dumping on their investors, and th that's all forgotten about. So I'm not saying they're saints here. I'm just saying the pros outweigh the, 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 the cons, and we want them to win, because generally uh, we're on XRP side. Sometimes you do some wrongs, you do some rights, the rights outweigh the wrongs, if that makes sense. Or it's just better for you, and it's in your interests, um, uh, for example, right? So anyway, that's why I wanted to say I want to talk. I want to talk to the chat now. Take your questions, put your questions in the chat while I drink some more blue drink here, and I'll be answering your questions. Dark Fire says, "Am I American?" And no, I am Greek. I was born in London, but over the years going to an American school and actually being an MC and having American friends, my accent kind of bastardized, but my English Tourette's kind of jumps out sometimes. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not American. Even though my sister lives in Texas though, if that counts, but she has a heavy British accent. Sending good vibes, thank you very much. Mr. Blue, what's up? So for us, yep, we, uh, big shout out for Belfast. Uh, going to be rocky for the next year. Yes, I believe so. Our fees limited. Not understand what you mean, but yeah, it depends on which exchange you are at. But it's not just about the fees. It's also the opportunity cost. Um, it, it's a whole bunch of things you can lose, right? So uh, it's also the emotional stress. It's all because we were talking about before um, about everybody trying to day trade, watching day trading videos, even though they don't day trade, and this makes them FOMO or or, or, or fear. And it just it just it just ruins their whole sort of um, capacity of succeeding in crypto. By the way, I'm going to put two videos out tomorrow and the day after. Okay, one of them is 
what the, the, these are videos you have to watch. I'm not even joking here, okay? This is very important videos. One of them is my trading strategy, and it's not just my trading strategy and how to use technical, no, it's not, it's a blueprint. It's a blueprint uh, that can actually literally make you a crypto millionaire. If you follow this blueprint, you could do it. I'm 100% I'm, I'm serious. I, I watch the video. I'm challenging anybody. I, 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 it, it, it's a great video. I actually recorded it today. I had a little bit more strength today. And the other video is also uh, to uh, help. It's part of that video, but it'll help you understand how you can become a crypto millionaire with numbers, right? It's not uh, like, like literally... It's, 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 it's like a game, and you, if you understand this one thing, and this is not like a, a clickbait title, uh, I'm being serious, uh, it will really help you uh, become a crypto millionaire. So if you watch that how to trade video, the, the blueprint if you want, and you watch that other video, I, I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, that's why um, uh, I don't know what to call it, but... Um, Watch these videos. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit the notification button so you don't miss those videos. Watch the videos. If you don't like them and if you think they're crap, unsubscribe. But I'm telling you right now, those videos are gold. They will help you as long as you understand the message. And understand there's not two videos that are going to make you a millionaire, right? There's other things to do. But it's a, it's, it's a very good foundation. Does that make sense? So make sure you watch those videos. You're going to want to watch them. And, 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 I've and I'm making these videos after popular request. Now, I'm also making mindset videos on my channel, uh, which I thought a lot of people would appreciate. I actually made, um, I, I actually made like a, a, a poll and people wanted to see these videos. Uh, Look, when you're in crypto, but they're not really working that well, and I'll tell you why. It's cryptopreneurship. How do we actually become uh, a crypto millionaire? See all these videos here? It's probably where I'm going to put the other videos too. We'll see. But these videos here talk about mindset. There's short videos and there's long videos, right? So it's not so just um, it's not just short videos here. But this playlist right here, you should be watching this playlist now. The problem is a lot of people don't want to watch these videos on mindset. They just don't. They just want to know what coins to buy, what to copy, have other people do the work for them. And they don't understand that becoming a millionaire is a mindset. And you have this mindset before. You don't become a millionaire, then you have this mindset. Does, does that make sense? You have, just like you have to scale your business to be able to make more money, you have to scale yourself to be able to make more money. It, it, it just believe me, it's, it's the only way to do this. And, and I know that sounds weird, and I know you don't believe me, and I know you don't understand, but that's why most people are not millionaires, right? So make sure you watch that video, if you will. Sorry, I'm sweating here. Hopefully it's not shown on camera. I did something with the lights so it doesn't show, but I guess it does. Mr. Blue says, I'm accumulating my second Bitcoin by DCA. Nice, around 18 to 20K. I'm not waiting for it to go down more, and if it does, even better. Yeah, I think I think it's okay right now. Um, DSA, which is what I did by the dollar swing uh, uh, dollar swing average, which is a bit different, uh, but I think DCA is great right now at these levels. It's fine, and I think you're doing very well, especially if we were talking about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency in general at this time. S S SRC, should I sell already bought altcoins at all time? No, no. I, unless you leave the money or you want to put it in something else that's more sure, I wouldn't do that. I would literally forget about them. And, and there's no financial advice because I don't know your financials. I don't know your risk tolerance. I don't know your money. I don't know where you live. I don't know your, your family. I, I, I can't give you advice. That's why I'm saying I'm not a financial advisor. But what, I can, but what I can say to you is this. If you forget about those and put them in the, in, in, on the side right now, if you can sell if you have to, whatever. Um, if you watch the two videos I'm going to put out t tomorrow and the day after, uh, I promise you it will help you a lot to understand how to trade and buy. And whether it goes up and down, you'll, you, you'll have a blueprint on, uh, to understand how you can make money and how you can succeed in cryptocurrency no matter what. Like, as long as you follow the blueprint um, correctly, uh, it's almost a guarantee you, you will succeed, right? And, I'm, I, I, and a lot of people were asking me about it. I figured I'll put it out there. I, I was thinking about making a big course of it, and you know what? I don't think so. 
I think I'm just going to put videos out there explaining to people how to do it, and then we'll see what happens. Shah says, what altcoin do you looking for? I know you're looking at the BTC, Ethereum. Tell me some safe bets. See, you, you don't really listen a lot, Shah. I've been telling you videos after videos, don't buy altcoins right now. Altcoins are bad right now. When to buy altcoins? I, and, and, and I literally just said it's not a good idea to buy altcoins. And you're asking me what altcoins to buy right now. And while there are altcoins standing out, it's not time yet. You want to ga gamble, you're rushing too much. It doesn't work. This is not a bull market. You're not in a hyper bull market right now. That doesn't work. Stop. You have to be patient and you have to understand how to play this market. You're going to get burnt, dude. Even if you buy altcoins right now and by luck they go up, you're just going to get lucky. But that's, that's just gambling, right? And yes, if you want to gamble, sure, go, go buy quant, go buy, um, I don't know, Go buy Quant, go buy XRP just in case they win the case for the short, for the short term. Uh, go buy Polygon, Cosmos, you, you know. But it's not the right time right now. It just isn't. Because if Bitcoin sneezes, you're going to catch pneumonia. I don't know how to explain it better than that. Bottom of the S&P 500, that's not my area of expertise. Michael Eliberti says, my, my cousin bought gold beads that jurors, oh my God, someone's calling right now. Okay. My cousin bought gold beads that jurors used to melt and make jewelry. Thoughts? I think it's cool. It's still gold, right? It's still gold. You can always sell it. It's just a lot easier to sell gold coins, in my opinion, because it's just a lot easier to sell gold coins, in my opinion for the simple reason that um, gold coins are easier to sell and there's not so many frauds out there, if that makes sense. It's easier to evaluate. Um, and also for tax reasons I expl explained earlier on, you can always say you, you got them for um, uh, from your mother or your grandmother or something. Nice catching you live. What's your view on Pulse Chain for when it comes out? I interviewed Richard Hart multiple times on Pulse Chain. I don't know what it's going to do. Uh, from what I understand, neither does he. There's a lot of things you have to understand by um, Pulse Chain that it's an experiment. Because a lot of coins it's going to copy on the Pulse Chain won't work because they because they, they, they don't they're not on the same blockchain that they don't solve the same issues they do on the Ethereum blockchain. So in my opinion. It's either going to become a parallel blockchain. It really is kind of like a vampire attack. Uh, it's going to become like a parallel blockchain, and some will work, some will not. There's money to be made, but, I, but we don't know what's going to happen after, if people are going to start building on it and so on. We just don't. And I'll be honest with you, and I know a lot of people are not going to like this. I don't think they will. I don't think it's going to catch on, at least not to the extent you think. But I do think a lot of people are going to make a lot of money on it. And I do, I have sacrificed for Pulse, so I do own. So please understand this. Do you know Yanni? Everyone in Greece is called Yanni. Blessings and love. Uh, happy to be here. Thank you very much. What's your take on Chile's when the World Cup comes in November 20, 2022? In bear markets, it's irrelevant. If we're still in the bear market, it might pump a little bit, go back down. Um, one way to see if we're still in the bear market is big news doesn't follow through to the upside. So for me, it's a sell the news event. People are going to take advantage of it. They're going to buy Chile's now maybe or went on dips and try and sell it before or during the game. The, that's my view on it. I don't think it's going to do nothing for price. Um, I don't think it's going to cr go crazy awareness. Um, I don't. I think it's going to be an irrelevant event. Unless, like, for some strange reason, Chile is doing something that I don't understand uh, for the World Cup and it's not just a sponsor. Uh, I'll keep that as a, you know, as, as a scapegoat, if you will, because I'm not sure if I'm missing something. <coughs> Mike Waliperti says, I'm buying Ethereum and, and, okay, monthly thoughts. Should I wait till mid-2023? You have time. 
But if you're already buying and you already bought some, why not you know, just slow down a little bit and, and look at Bitcoin a little bit. Also, if you don't understand why I'm talking about Bitcoin so much, learn why Bitcoin, because a lot of people think it's all tech and they don't understand sound money or hard money or principles of money. And a good idea would be to read a book called The Bitcoin Standard by Saifedina Moose. And um, it, it, it's, as I'll put the link in the description later on. Uh, it's a very good book and it will teach you about how economics work, uh, how things work in general. And um, it, it will open your eyes to why Bitcoin would work or will work or what we're expecting more than just speculation or uh, whatever. And I'm not talking about money being replaced by Bitcoin, uh, by the way. I'm, I'm not saying that. If you don't read the book, you won't understand. Talking about books, I just released one of my books. I, I never plug things here, but I'm just telling you. It's called The Five P's of Persuasion. It's a sales book. It's not a crypto book, right? I just wrote this book, just finished writing it. It's like, um, how can I put this? It's like a method to be able to sell on any platform, whether it's emails, public speaking, door-to-door, uh, -door, phone. It's just one blueprint, if you will. I love blueprints that will help you sell. Now, if you like books and you want to check it out and check out my other books, you actually can by coming to the Crypto Factor here, CryptoFactor.net books. And then here are some books I wrote. There's sales books, there's mindset books, and of course there's cryptocurrency books. Most of them are aimed at uh, entrepreneurs and companies. So it's not for everyone. I'm just showing you what I have. I very rarely plug my products. If you want to know more about me, you can go to the homepage here. Read, read about who I am, what I do for companies, my public speaking engagements, um, and stuff like that. Maybe some projects, what I do here, and so on. And if you want to go to my shop, you can actually go under this YouTube video. You'll probably see some products, but you can also go to my shop here if you want to buy some crypto clothes. I need to update and upgrade this. This, this is based on my puppy, by the way. But this is just something if you want to check out. Uh, I, I'm not going to pun this too much. I just figured I'll say something. Hi, Paul. Thanks for your help. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. I appreciate you. Really best education. And thank you very much, Omar. I appreciate you. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Um, I'm wanting to buy a full Bitcoin on Binance, but the fees are crazy. Is there a cheaper alternative? I don't think so. I don't think Binance is as expensive fees. I think the fees are fine. And if you want to buy a full Bitcoin on Binance and the fees are, are, are crazy, then you can't afford a full Bitcoin. That doesn't make sense. Um, so I don't think that's the case there. I'm not sure if that's a joke, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, Gravity Blast, there are no safe bets. No, there isn't. I'm just saying there's safer bets. The trend is down. Yes, it is. Um, I'm starting to... I don't know if you're answering me or someone else there. I'm starting to think crypto is just about following the market. Well, that's pretty much about every market. You always follow trends. Um, the trends, uh, the trend is your friend and, until it isn't. And this is the, the warning I was giving before we went down. Um, do you think we can get our, our crypto back from Celsius? I have no idea, but I don't think so. I know a lot of people that made mil lost millions and millions of dollars there. Maybe, but I wouldn't count on it. If, if it happened to me, which it didn't, because I was warning people not to put it in Celsius, not to put it in BlockFi. I was literally telling people to stay away from that. And people were telling me I'm stupid on, on my live streams. And, I'm not, and I know it's bad. I didn't want you to lose your money. But I, I was explaining to you, giving your custody of Bitcoin for other people to control is just risky for any new company, no matter who he is, and takes away the whole concept from Bitcoin. It, it just does, right? So I know I saved a friend of mine. Uh, he wanted to put all his Bitcoin, about 112 Bitcoin on there. I'm like, don't do it. And he didn't do it. But anyway... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Hopefully some people will get some of their money back, uh, but not, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Just, just don't do that. Uh, don't be greedy. It's not meant for that. People try to make too much money with ways it's not meant, meant for. What I would do is I would focus on making money again and starting over and not waste energy on that. I've lost, I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in my past, in my lifetime on stupid shit. Over millions of dollars I've spent uh, and, and, you know, I, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. You, you just have to start over. Do, do, do you know what I mean? And you have to understand, shit, I spent over a million dollars the last 10 years, whatever. Or I'm just giving an example. Or um, I lost 150000 on this or whatever. It, shit happens. 
Uh, you just have to go back and start over and remember that from the ashes I will rise. And what that is, it comes from ancient Greece um, after the, um, the, man, sorry, after the big war when, when Persia entered Athens, everything, you know, they, they actually retreated onto the boat and then attacked after. And everything was scorched. And then they said, from the ashes I will rise. And they rebuilt. They did that strategy. Uh, and that's the strategy you have to do too. And you become stronger because now you know your mistakes and you forecast, right? Uh, SRC says, where do you think I should buy 7 Ethereum considering it over altcoin? Well, Ethereum is an altcoin, and now it's no proof of work anymore either. Um, and while I think it's good to have Ethereum or to accumulate Ethereum, um, I guess it's the only one other than Bitcoin you could be buying. But I don't understand where you should buy. You mean which platform? What price? I I've answered this. I've, I I I'm very, very precise of what I believe. Glass half full mindset. Don't let the opportunity provided by this market go to waste. Now is the time to accumulate those blue chip cryptos. Really, how much money have you made and lost, Sean C? Please, let me know. Because this comment I've been hearing since the market fell from 30K and I said it's going to go to 17K. Because I said if that 30K breaks, we're going to go all the way down. And, no one, and I even called, I said 20, 24K, and if 20K breaks, we're going to 17K. And I saw exactly the same comment. So be very careful because you, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not attacking you here. I understand where you're coming from because the truth is you're half right. Every, see, people are telling you to buy um, uh, stocks uh, to, to buy in a bear market, right? But the, you have to understand this applies to hedge funds and stuff like that. What you want to be doing, you don't want to be buying in a bear market because it can always go lower. We might even go to a depression. You want to be buying as we're coming out of a bear market. Now, Bitcoin's a different story for the reasons I, I, I described, but you want to be buying when you're coming out of a bear market, not when you're in the bottom or in the bear market because you don't know if it's the bottom and you don't know if it's going to go lower. Whilst if you wait for confirmation of trend, you have much better chances and you'll have a good price and you can still make a lot of money. So while I agree with you, Sean, uh, I, 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 I kind of disagree halfway there. And, and, and you might have made a lot of money. I'm not saying you haven't. Maybe, maybe I spoke a little bit. I, 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 just, I, I want to protect people and I want people to make money and, and I, get, I take it a little bit personally, Sean. But, um, and I do respect you, I, I understand now where you're coming from. Um, but, 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 but understand that patience in this case is a good thing. Even if you buy a little higher, you'll still make the 100x, right? Uh, but, but you'll have more opportunity to, you'll, you'll have more opportunity to not get it wrong. Because even if we go up, we're gonna come back down anyway. And that's what you buy and goes back up. And that's confirmation after support, uh, after resistance breaks. Does that make sense? As for the glass half full, I, I don't look if it's half full or not. I just drink what's in it. Be sure to smash those likes. Okay. That we agree with, Sean. <laughs> Regarding Celsius, I got a call from Alex Mashinsky the other day to tell me my car warranty had expired. <laughs> oh, man. What is a good amount of money to start? You can, you can become a millionaire with $1,000. I'm not even joking. You, you can become a millionaire with $1,000. I'm not talking about buying a 100x coin or finding a gem that's going to 1,000x either. You can be, become a millionaire with $1,000. This is one of the videos I'm going to release tomorrow or the day after. It's going to show you exactly how. Okay, really, I'm not joking. So make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button. Do not miss the next two videos tomorrow and the day after. Believe me, you don't want to miss them. What cryptocurrency classes, courses would you recommend for someone who wants to career in cryptocurrency world? 
I'm eventually teaching crypto like you do. Thank you. Well, I use the, I actually take courses from the University of Nicosia. And um, there's one called Introduction to DeFi, which I took, for example. There's, the, the, there's another one talking about cryptocurrencies and so on. So, or, and it's actually the first university in the world that offers a master's program to, to be able to um, uh, get a degree, uh, an actual master's uh, in the world. So this was in 2014. So it's University of Nicosia. It's Cypriot. It's right here. Right, and you can verify your certificates if you don't believe the other person got your certificate and everything. And then um, you just look around here and you'll find, um, somewhere around here you'll find, uh, there you go, research, where is it? Somewhere around here you'll find the um, distance learning, online degrees, and so on. So you just look around this site. There's another one, I can't remember the actual name, it's by Pompliano. Uh, what was it called? I think it was Pomp, Pomp Academy, Pomp Academy or Pomp, Pomp Jobs, Pomp Crypto Jobs. Let me give me, give me, bear with me here. It's not about jobs, but just bear with me. Uh, PompCryptoJobs.com. And, you know, he, you know, if you want to look for, a, for work in cryptocurrency, you can do it on this right here. There's listings of head of marketing, for example, and so on. But if you want to learn, if you go up here, you can go to, um, is it recruiting? There was a university here. Give me a second. Wait a minute. They took it off? Post your resume for jobs. Interesting. Get certified for a new job, journal alumni. Well, they had, um, interesting. They had a tab where they actually gave a course and everything. Maybe they took it down. Um, but yeah, that's where you, so University of Nicosia, since I don't see that one. Ethereum price range to buy. I would wait for Bitcoin confirmation and then see the Ethereum price to buy or whatever you feel is good. Gravity Blast, I experienced greed for the first time this year. I made 300,000 from a single NFT and lost almost all of it and went back to my original uh, principle because I tried to continue, that's because I tried to continue trading it. Yeah, it happens, man. It, it happens to everyone. So um, don't, don't feel bad. You learn from your mistakes. It's the only way to learn, by the way. You can learn from others, but it's like very hard. Most people just listen, but they just take it for granted. And then, obviously, the, this shit happens. Um, but you'll bounce back, man. Sean Say, I've lost quite a bit. I'd say it was a glass half full mindset. Okay, man, the glass is also half empty. Got you, man, got you. Altcoins you are looking to accumulate in this bear market, there is a thousand X altcoins. I'm not looking for those until we have a bull market. These 100X, 1000X uh, cryptocurrencies, they're all by luck and they're, they're going to come out later on. You're not going to know now. I already mentioned a few of them that I'm looking at as we're coming out of a bull market. That would be Polygon, that would be Quant, that would be, um, that, that would be um, PYR, um, that would be Cosmos and so on but I'm not looking for a thousand X coins. That's not a strategy. Luck is not a strategy to become a millionaire. Watch the two videos I'm putting out tomorrow and the day tomorrow, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about strategy. Oh man. Gravity Blast, so lost 90% of it back to my original principle, but now I understand greed and fear and taking profits. Yeah. It, 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 you have to, you have to. Most people will lose money in crypto. They only start making big money after five years, just so you understand, it's, it's the average, the ones that stay. I wanted to hear your views on something, although I believe in Bitcoin, do you believe the man behind Bitcoin is actually Japanese? And why is he hiding his real identity? Well, if he, was, if he wasn't hiding his real identity, we'd have a problem. Uh, he'd probably get subpoenaed or put to jail, killed. And then also it wouldn't be decentralized anymore. Uh, also, I don't know if it's one man or if it's a group of people, which makes more sense. And I don't know if it's Japanese. So there's a lot of theories out there, uh, but we don't know. I, I, but, but don't assume it's Japanese and just one person. 
What do you think about blockchain backer TA? Totally understand if you don't want to answer. I don't know who blockchain backer TA is. I, I, I that might, that, that I don't want to offend him or anything, or I don't remember who he is. So either I don't know who he is, or I was in a podcast with him on BitBoy Crypto or something, and I don't remember who he is, uh, but that doesn't mean, so I, so I really can't have an opinion on him. Dar, is it a good idea to start with 100, like understand better how the things work? You can start with 100 as well, sure. What's your reading to the market today? When do you think it will explode upwards or next, or are we in a long-term bear market? Well, I'm not waiting for it to explode or anything. I'm just waiting to see what the charts do. Once the charts explode or don't explode and everything, that we can reevaluate. As I said, we're in a range. Everyone's making all these videos every day and confusing you. We're in a range. One week ago, one month ago, two months ago, I told you, we're in a range. If we don't break out either direction and confirm, nothing's going to happen. Just some short-term stuff that day traders can make money from, but no one here is a day trader. Because if you were, or, you, if, or if you think you are, you're not, because no day traders will watch videos like this. They don't have time. <laughs> they do other things, right? So understand that. Ah, we have some stupid spam, which you can't see because um, YouTube hit it for me. Thank you, YouTube. Do you think Solana will hit all-time highs in the next bull market? Yes, I really do think so. And I think my target will be hit for Solana that I said if the bull market continues, it's going to hit this. And I really think it's going to hit anywhere from $700 to $1,000, in my opinion, as long as it still works. 24 volume is very low. Yes, it is. Thank you for answering my questions regarding cryptocurrency courses. You're very welcome. Your opinion about Solana and Eagle, please. I'll, I'll tell you about Solana. I think Solana is going to do very well in the gaming industry. I know where they're going. I know that they're having a lot of errors and downtime, but think of it like Windows, right? Uh, Windows were having blue screens all the time. We used to make fun of it. Um, I mean, what was it? Bitcoin XP was, uh, sorry, uh, Windows XP was extra problems or uh, Windows ME was more errors. We, we used to get all that blue screen and oh my God, you had to reinstall and, and you lost all your shit. But now it's the norm and works great. So Solana is not pretending to be something it isn't. I think it's going to do very well. I just think it's going to take time. So I really think it's worth investing in it. As for eGold, I haven't really looked into it a lot. Um, I do think it has a lot of potential from the little study I did. S SRC says 900 to 1,000 for Ethereum is good for them. I, I think so. I think that would be a good level, maybe even 1,100. Thanks, I completely understand and agree with your point about not buying crypto blue chips right now and waiting in case by lower. As usual, you correct, my friend. Thank you very much, Sean C. And sorry if I answered too fast. Um, you, you, you are right. We are getting close to that time, though. And I'll make a confession. I'll make a confession. Buying small bits of altcoins that I mentioned may not be a bad idea as long as you understand it's to do it so you don't FOMO in if they go up. So if you buy a little bit of, I don't know, quant, for example, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, what's a little bit of money for you? $500. It's how much might I spend if I go out, right? Um, if that will stop you FOMOing in uh, on a pump, then it might be worth dabbing into it. So there's a lot about trading that also has to do with emotions that help you emotions. Does that make sense? Ahmed, bless you, Paul. Can you help us be trading online for 1x? Um, don't understand what you mean. Please, Paul, can you help us be trading online for 1x? I have a trading video coming out tomorrow, Mohammed, that shows you how to trade a blueprint strategy. It's going to have like a clickbaity title about how to become a millionaire. And you actually can become a millionaire with $1,000 doing this trading thing. Um, try it out. Follow it. I think you'll do very well. Thanks for answering your questions. You're very welcome. Paul is Leonidas of crypto. I really value it. Thank you so much, man. Loving my ass off. Exactly. If Solana actually works, it's going to do well. Yes, Solana is messy. Yeah, exactly. Mohammed says, bless you, Paul. I, same question I answered. Thanks for answering. 
Thanks for answering. I bought a thousand dollars of altcoins because I don't care much about the, about the one thousand dollars. Great man. I think that's a, I've done the same thing. I admit I did the same thing, but mostly so I don't FOMO into something if it goes up, and I, and, and also to remember in my portfolio I want to buy more of it later on, so I can follow it. Because if I don't buy it, I won't look at it. So I'll, I bought some quant just so I can have it in my portfolio, look at it and watch it because I want to buy it later on as we're coming out of a crypto bear market. Uh, but very small amount, um, just so, well, it's actually $1,000, right? But if you want to put like $500 in something or $1,000 in something, that's fine uh, if you understand why you're doing it. Anyway, thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for being on another live show. I'll try and do more of these. Do forgive me. Um, if I don't do them all the time, as you understand, I am fighting cancer, I am on chemotherapy, and I am waiting to do CAR-T therapy. When I do CAR-T therapy, it's going to be extremely hard to do live shows. It will be extremely hard doing videos in general. Maybe I won't be able to, but I'll try and do updates in my stories, which are 15 seconds. They vanish after seven days, and I'll try to post on the community tab. I don't know when I'm going in for CAR-T therapy. It's probably going to be soon, but I'll try and do as much as I can for you guys when I'm there. Thank you very much. Love you all. Take care. Goodbye.